Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new video of Mario Kart 3 CGP. Today we're going to play through the uh, drill, uh, uh, cup, spin drill cup, whatever you want to call it. The spin drill was a power up from Super Mario Galaxy 2 that allows you to drill through planets and such. Also I'm playing as a clone uh, shooting star. The shooting star is probably uh, the best uh, outside drifting vehicle. So yeah, let's get started with N64 Frappa Snowland. I mean, as an N64 track, it's uh, a bit boring, but every track since Mar uh, Mushroom Peaks is a blessing for me. <laughs> I am uh, uh, quite excited since uh, Nintendo uh, is uh, planning to release a uh, Nintendo Switch OLED model in uh, uh, October this year, that I revealed it today, and it was good. Especially for the price of $350, which probably is going to be 380 euros. A lot of uh, uh, people uh, don't like it, uh, it because it wasn't uh, 4K, but I think there uh, there's more to come. I think the Nintendo Switch will get a 3DS like situation. Anyways, back to the track. This track um, has a lot of shortcuts, uh, and I believe there was a glitch in the original game as well. So you could propel uh, yourself up to uh, uh, final uh, ramps. No, there uh, is no ramp, but you could uh, propel you, uh, yourself off of that slope, and then you would respawn and would cancel that somehow. I have a superstar, this is very uh, handy. But I didn't know that there was out of bounds. I kind of expected there to be, but. I don't uh, know what logic is, so <laughs> I just do whatever I want to. Hit two people at the exact same time. I mean, did you see that? So, get out of my way. And I got sniped. That's not nice. And then that happens. Great, these outside Griffin vehicles. Ooh, super massive. Used to, uh, my mushroom uh, right in time with shock. That was awesome. And look how fast this vehicle is. I mean, 112 kmh and 111 kmh. That's pretty fast. Anyways, next track, Calamari Desert. This track returned in Mario Kart 7. And in my opinion, it looks awesome. It looks great. And in the Mario Kart 7 version, there was a glider ramp over here. Yeah. This is the Mario Kart 7 version. Also, everyone is stupid in this game's version. Because everyone bumps into the train. I love how the train looks. 
sure the smoke doesn't pass our fairy in a, in a big, in a random distance, but it looks cool. I mean, this is the Nintendo Wii after all. Don't expect too much. There's some tumbleweed over there. I don't know if this is possible, probably not, because it's an off-road thing. And there's the train. I like that there are quite a mm -mm, few of these ramps around here. This track also was remade in Mario Kart 4. But who plays that game anymore? I don't. Let's just go mm, mm, this way for the third and final time. You can actually partially uh, drive through the uh, uh, tunnel and that the train uh, goes through. But I think there is like a bounce there, so you shouldn't do that. Calamari Desert. It's not a uh, track, but nothing special, to be honest. Alright, let's move on to the next one. And I don't know the name again. I also don't know what track it was again. Cooper's River Beach. Great track. Also remade in both uh, Mario Kart 2 and Mario Kart 7. I like it as the tide changes over time. Let's see if I can perform this. No. Just 150cc, not 200. Nearly dodged the power right there. I always hop right before a power uh, because in the uh, uh, case that uh, there is a weird bump in the in a row. I mean. You still get to use your item after that. I'm used to Mario Kart uh, uh, 8 wiping out the uh, bloopers ink uh, uh, after you uh, uh, go underwater. But unfortunately, that is not the case in Mario Kart Wii. There is an item box over there on the original version, but the shell, I mean, it isn't worth it since the shell, if you collide with it, it's, uh, it just hurts yourself. I can't really explain it too much because I've played Mario Kart 64 a lot and I don't know how to explain it. I don't know if there is a term for that or anything. Yeah, I like this ramp. 
In the original game, is pretty useless, but uh, just, just because there was not uh, a different uh, collision engine uh, back then. So there were uh, variants in each race in Mario Kart 64. Mario Kart 3 actually was the uh, first game to introduce tricks, and it also has the most animations uh, in uh, of any Mario Kart game uh, on tracks. Anyways, Luigi Raceway. We have Mario Raceway in uh, uh, in Mario Kart Wii. But now we have Luigi this way as well. And who doesn't like some Luigi wins by doing absolutely nothing? I believe that in older versions there were monsters instead of uh, green piranhas. But I could be wrong, maybe this is one of the earlier versions. I just uh, haven't had uh, CGP for uh, very long, so I don't know uh, uh, if I mom an older version or something. All I know is that I have ultimate updates on. Then again, the Nintendo Wii uh, uh, Wi-Fi connection was bad. He slipped a little bit and <laughs> and then press the A button. And there are two shots in a row. Congratulations if you have a star or blue or power item that makes you invincible. Because today is your lucky day. You get a double shot dodge. You love to see it. Yeah, that was Luigi Raceway's final track of this episode. And it's an okay track. Also returned to Mario Kart 7. What's up with this tr uh, these tracks? Anyways, thank you guys all for watching and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.